Watch you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the worst thing that can happen to your computer. Now a lot of people uh, don't realise how easy it is to have this happen to them, so I thought I'd make a video showing you how easy it is for this to happen to you and all your data. So if you've got all your data on your computer and you haven't backed it up, it's going to be all stored on here, it could be all of your holiday photos, the birth of your children, weddings, whatever it may be, birthday parties, it could be anything. It could be other things like precious schoolwork or even office work, emails, just about everything that we store on our computers on a daily basis. And they always put their backups on the back burner. And this is exactly what can happen. You can click on a file just like this one. This file could be an attachment in an email. It could be a file that you're downloading off the internet. It could have been a file that someone has given you or whatever it is. It could be even a part of a, a, an, an application that you've downloaded and you, you click on the link, i.e. a crack or something like that, thinking that you're going to get a crack and it's actually a ransomware. It's that simple to encrypt someone's data by using these methods. And people are just gullible. They click on things without thinking. And if you don't have a backup in place, then it's going to encrypt all of your data. What does that mean for you? Well, if you don't have backups of your data, then that means that all of the data that you have may be on this system. And now it's all encrypted. And the cyber criminal who holds the key for the decryption of your data. And uh, it's always advisable never to pay these cyber criminals to get your data back. Because if you do, then it just entices them to make more of these nasty ransomware files. And there's tons of them out there. It doesn't matter what methods you use to try and open it and view it. You just won't be able to view these files because they are encrypted. And trying to get these back can cause major problems. So what is the answer? Well, if you have backups of your data, then all you'd need to do is reinstall Windows and you would have your data back on the system and you wouldn't be uh, having an issue like this. Unfortunately, a lot of people still today don't back up their data. As you can see here, this is the message that it gives you about your data and about how you can restore your data. And again, this is a cyber criminal creating a criminal offense by doing this to people's computers. Now, remember, this is not just home users that are getting affected. This is businesses and, uh, you know, hospitals and solicitors and people like this that have their, uh, you know, networks completely infiltrated by some, someone who clicks on this file and it just then goes across the network and completely encrypts all of the data on every computer on that network. And that's the problem. And it happened in the UK with the NHS when someone plugged in a device with a Windows XP system to the outside world, which give them internet access and it literally infected every computer on that network. And these computers were obviously Windows XP. And again, a lot of people and businesses are still using older operating systems that are probably not even getting patched anymore, like Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7. And these are really easy to get infected with malware and ransomware. Windows 10 and Windows 11 is a lot more difficult to infect and again i've had to turn off all of the security features on this operating system to get this to run on here now the files are already encrypted but i'll just click on this file here and you can see it took less than a second to literally disappear and it's now done its damage and it's that quick and sometimes you get a nice uh, screen popping up giving you uh you know with some music on it or sometimes it's just a splash screen or it might be just a text file, depending on what type of ransomware it is. The damage has been done, and now all of the data has been, you know, literally encrypted. So if you look here, this one's called Hello. It's a new one that's just come out here, and uh, the extension will be uh, .hello. The other one was uh, .rock, I think it was. So now you'll see .rock and .hello. They've been changed by this ransomware. So you can see how destructive this particular type of ransomware can be to any computer. Now, the best way to uh, stop ransomware is educate yourself on what you're clicking on. Think before you click on files. Who has it come from? Is it a reliable source? You know, have you got your data backed up? The way to defeat ransomware is really simple. You just have backups of all your data. And if it does 
manage to infiltrate your system and encrypt all your data. You just completely format the system, reinstall Windows, and you would have your data back. You can use free software like Macrim Reflect to make a backup of all your data, and then this way you will be sure that your data is safe. So a simple solution would be to use the 321 method, which is uh, free copies of your data. So the first one will be your production copy. This is the copy that's on your main system. And then you would have two other sources of backup. So the second source of backup would be, i.e. on a NAS drive or some other uh, device that you want to back up to. And the third one would be off-site. And this would be either in the cloud. And if you're not one of these people that like putting data in the cloud, then you can back up to an external device like an external hard drive and then take it around a relative's house and let them store it there. At least it's off site. And that means you've got free copies of your data. It seems like a little bit overkill, but it's the best way to go. And the reason why is because if you get hit with a particular type of ransomware on your computer, it can literally encrypt all of the data on that computer. And some of them can even travel towards your NAS drive and encrypt all of the data on your NAS drive. This is how bad ransomware is becoming. So using free software like Macro and Reflect will give you uh, an option to back all your data up and uh, basically keep backups updated. And this is probably the most effective way of protecting you against ransomware because your data is protected and what ransomware does is it encrypts your data to try to cripple you to make you pay the ransomware which is what they're demanding to release your data and there is no guarantee that you're going to get that data back these are criminals at the end of the day so they don't really care about you or your data all they care about is getting money and again you can't trust these people so the best way to deal with these is to have backups of all your data. Now, again, you can go down the protection route, which is a very dangerous game if you don't have backups of your data, because if that software lets the ransomware through, then you can be in big trouble. And as far as I know, there is no software company uh, that is going to guarantee your uh, data is safe. And it's your responsibility to make sure that data is safe by making sure you've got backups of all your data. So if you're one of these people that leave backups to the last minute, then don't. Make sure you set some time out to backup and learn about backups and get some uh, backup plan going. And that way you can keep yourself safe. So why did I choose Macrum Reflect? Because it was free and people always want a free option. You can use whatever other backup solution software that you want to use to back up your data. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about the state of ransomware and how it affects the world and how it affects the industry, you can read this article. I'll leave a link in the video description. This is by uh, Sophos. They've done some extensive research on ransomware. And if you want to uh, keep yourself protected to the best possible way, then you can use something like Bitdefender. This is not the free version. It's a paid version, but it does have uh, ransomware protection built into it. And this is if you want to get the most protection out there. It's one of the best ones on the market. You can choose whatever one you want to do, but Bitdefender is probably one of the leading brands for protection when it comes to things like ransomware. Now, I have set up a second YouTube channel called Brightech Extra. I'll be putting some content on here real soon. I've only got one video up there at the moment, which I just put up there so I can open the channel. So that is the shorter version of upgrading uh, Windows 1 to Windows 11. So the link will be in the video description. Drop us a sub on there. I really will appreciate it. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. So that is basically the worst thing that can happen to your computer is to lose all your data to ransomware. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.